to seek the soul the truth lies within welcome back to your own channel and in this video we're going to talk about fitness with shanu and how the chakras in our body are created right from the time we enter our mother's womb yes you're right what you're hearing is very true i'm talking about a soul entering a mother's womb you see soul is the energy and chakras are also energy so the soul is responsible for all the formation of different chakras in the physical body now without the soul there is no chakra there is no aura around your body do you agree with that or not think about it without the soul my hand is not going to be staying up like this when the soul is there in the body the hand is up if the soul leaves the body what we call it as death the hand is going to fall down so imagine a soul entering a mother's womb what exactly is that soul doing the soul is complete pure when it has got all its seven areas or the seven different forms of energies taken care of now what am i talking about over here see these energies are very spiritual energies it has got nothing to do with your physical power it has got nothing to do with your electrical energy or any other form of energy this is a spiritual energy like love is a spiritual energy you can feel love but you cannot touch love you can feel peace but you cannot touch peace so you're getting what i'm trying to say over here we are going from a physical to a non physical exactly this is a physical body and it is being controlled by the non physical now most of us think that the brain is doing all the work but here on a spiritual level i'm here to tell you that you're not thinking the right way when you're thinking about the brain controlling the body it is actually the soul controlling the body i give an example right that if the soul is there the hand is up if the soul leaves the hand goes down that means the body has got no control over it so who was controlling the body so the soul is the one which is the energy source it's a conglomerate of seven different energies right starting from your bliss to knowledge to peace to love to happiness to purity and power like the seven colors of the rainbow so now what happens when the soul enters the mother's womb as soon as the soul enters the mother's womb either soul has just arrived onto this earth plane or the soul has taken rebirth and has taken this new birth to undo the things which the soul did in the past births that means to balance out the things in this life or to create new karmas or pure karmas till the time it purifies itself completely and goes back up you're right we are going to talk about purification of our karmas and purification of our chakras they actually interrelated so keep on watching because i'm going to talk about all these things by the end of this video and also in the next episode too where we are going to explore how exactly do we use our thoughts and also how we use mudras that means the mudra asanas to balance out all the energies in our body so talking about the different energies so as soon as the soul enters the mother's womb it resides over here at the center of the forehead and then once the child takes birth what happens we wait for the child to open the eyes because eyes are the window to knowledge eyes are the ones which take knowledge first even before the child understands the words through the ears and even before the child start starts talking so as soon as the eyes open up we start taking knowledge completely so soul starts taking knowledge so this is the agnya chakra or the chakra of complete knowledge which is the third eye now this chakra is color indigo so the indigo color is decided by the amount of knowledge so if you have divine knowledge pure knowledge then this chakra is very powerful and activated if there is a lot of sin in the past life a lot of mishaps in the past life because of bad karmas then the knowledge base is reduced or this chakra is little dull or the color which is the indigo color is little dull over here now let's go ahead as a child starts growing what happens next the child starts taking out the name ama baba dad mom right so what happens then which chakra is activated you're right this chakra the throat chakra gets activated 
So the child starts expressing, the soul is now expressing through the organs of the body. And then what happens, this chakra is the peace chakra. Or this chakra is also the color of blue, that is a sky blue color of peace. And then what happens, the child starts developing emotions with the parents. So which chakra gets activated? You're right, the Anahara chakra, color green, color of love. I understand many of you would say, well, red is the color of love. But here on a spiritual basis, everything is different. Green is the color of love. So this chakra gets activated. Next, what happens? The child grows even more. The child has got a lot of education. The child has maybe some degrees. The child is reaching the age of, let's say, 17, 18. And it has got the first high school or the class 12 or the metric or whatsoever degree it's got. And it has attained those mark sheets. It has got an ego of male or female. It understands what is rich, poor. It understands so many other things of life. So now what is this? This is the ego chakra, the solar plexus chakra. You see, this chakra is the one which gets butterflies in your stomach when you're standing in front of the camera or when you're sitting in front of somebody who's elderly and you're giving an interview or you're sitting for some kind of any kind of preparation or recitation in front of masses in school, if you remember. So what happens? You have the butterfly in your stomach. That is the feeling I'm talking about. Which is the chakra of happiness or unhappiness? This chakra is yellow in color. So the child starts to feel different emotions now. Good and bad. Guilt and happiness. Or ego or humility. Now what happens next? The next chakra is the sex chakra. Now till the age of 18 in majority of the countries, I would say this chakra gets overactivated even before 13. A lot of children are into sexual activity even before the age of 10 in some countries. Believe me or not. So this chakra is getting activated much more before it is supposed to be. But we are going to skip this chakra for the sake of understanding that yes, we are having a normal life. And we are going to go beyond the age of 18 to get this chakra activated. So what comes next? The next chakra is your foundation. That is the Muladhar chakra. Which is also known as the base chakra. So that chakra decides your complete stability of life. So you feel stable around your parents till the time you are 18. You are dependent upon finances from your parents till the time of 18. You are dependent upon security from your parents till the time of 18. So that is a base chakra which also decides how your skeletal system is going to be growing. Right. Whether you are going to grow tall or not. If you feel insecure, if you are feeling a lot of imbalance in your life from your parents, then your growth is stunted. If your parents are encouraging you, if your parents give you all the happiness and they encourage you and they positive about you in your life, you'll have a good growth. That means your skeletal system is going to absorb all the nutrients in the right manner for you to grow in your physical, physical structure. That means your height is going to be good. Now, what happens exactly? When we are in adulthood, we are reaching 18 years old. We get the feelings of sexual chakra getting activated. So this is the time when you understand the difference between male and female. You, you have seen so many things on the television or you've gathered so much of knowledge. And now you understand what exactly is the sex chakra all about. So you understand that the sex chakra is something which you want to explore with. But now we understand in the spiritual understanding that this is a chakra which is a chakra of not just reproduction, not just about having babies. It's a chakra of creation. You see, you are a creator. So you can create physical beings also and you can create something in your life also in this world i'm talking about creativity means discovering something or inventing something or being able to guide somebody's path or being the right leader yes this is a chakra of purity the sex chakra so this chakra decides what amount of wisdom are you going to have exactly so imagine this chakra is actually sex chakra is actually connected to your crown chakra which is the first chakra of wisdom. So this chakra of crown chakra is actually deciding whether you're going to be wise or not depending upon the level of purity which you have. So the more purer you are, I'm not talking about brahmacharya, I'm not talking just about having celibacy in your life, I'm talking about having pure thoughts towards the whole complete world in hand or the complete universe of towards all the souls and towards all the five elements. In the next video, we're going to talk about all those things also because our body is made up of five elements. So our energy, our thoughts, 
are actually deciding the condition of these five elements. So your body is going to be healthy if your thoughts and your chakras are healthy. Your body is going to be diseased if your thoughts are impure and your chakras are impure. Majority of the diseases are caused from this chakra and the sex chakra. Bigger diseases in this world are because of sex chakra like the HIV AIDS you have, the STD issues which you have and then the digestive system issues. Majority of the problems, majority of the diseases are from here. So in the next video, we're going to talk about the different aspects of these chakras and what these chakras are doing when it comes to your physical organs. So let's go ahead and see the next video now.